three negative point charges lie along a line as shown in figure. The magnitude and the direction of the electric field this combination of charges produces at point P, which lie six centimeter from the minus two microcoulomb charge measured perpendicular to the line connecting the three charges. From the figure, draw the figure. Draw the figure. One consider the three charges. One is the minus five microcoulomb, and another one is the minus two microcoulomb. and third one is the minus 5 micro coulomb both three charges are negative and this is the three charges this is the three charges and the distance between the minus 5 micro coulomb to two micro coulomb charge is 8 cm Eight centimeters, and the distance between the minus five micro coulomb charge to two mic minus two micro coulomb charge is the eight centimeters. And consider the point P. This is the point P. The distance between the point P to minus two micro coulomb charge is. Six centimeters. This is the six centimeters. The distance between the minus two micro coulomb charge to point P. First of all, we can calculate the the electric field at a point P. So, given the data, let us take the charge. Q one is equal to minus five micro coulomb. One micro coulomb is equal to ten to the power of minus six. So minus five into ten to the power of minus six coulomb. And another one is the Q two. Q two is equal to minus two micro coulomb. That is equal to Two into ten to the power of minus six coulomb, and another one, third one is the minus five micro coulomb. Q three is equal to minus five micro coulomb. That is equal to minus five into ten to the power of minus six coulomb. The distance between the let us the charges Q one and Q three both are the same. So Q1 is equal to Q3 is equal to some Q. The Q is the minus five micro coulomb charge, and the distance between the minus five micro coulomb to two micro coulomb is. Let us take L. L is equal to eight centimeters. The distance between the five micro coulomb charge to two micro coulomb charge. This is the Eight centimeters, and the distance between the point P to two micro coulomb charges to six centimeters. D is equal to six centimeters. One centimeter is equal to ten to the power of minus two meters. So six into ten to the power of minus two meters. That is equal to eight into ten to the power of minus two meters. So we can calculate the the electric field at a point P due to the three charges. We can calculate the electric field at a point P due to the three charges. Let us draw the force diagram. Let us draw the force diagram from the three charges at a point P. This is the force diagram due to the three charges at a point P. Let us the distance between the minus five micro coulomb charge to 
P is this is the R. Let us take both are the same distance. This is the R, and the angle between the, the minus five micro coulomb charge to horizontal line is this is the theta. Both are the same because the distance between the minus five micro coulomb charge to two micro coulomb charge both are the same. So the angle between the two charges along the horizontal line is the same. So let us R is equal to R is equal to the distance between the minus five micro any five micro coulomb charge to point P is R. R is equal to root over six centimeter square plus eight centimeter square. That is equal to R is equal to where R is the the distance between the minus any five micro coulomb charge to point P. This is the Six centimeter whole square plus eight centimeter whole square whole root. R is equal to the distance is the the distance is the ten. Centimeter, that is equal to ten into ten to the power of minus two meters. This is the distance between the any five micro coulomb charge to point P, and the angle between the any five minus five micro coulomb charge to horizontal line at a point P is theta. Theta is equal to opposite side by Adjacent side, opposite side by adjacent side. So, tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. So, theta is equal to tan inverse, tan inverse, opposite side is the eight centimeters, by adjacent side is the six centimeters. Theta is equal to theta. The value of theta is equal to Fifty-three point one degree. This is the theta. Where theta is the angle between the any minus five micro coulomb charge to horizontal line at a point P. This is the theta. We can calculate at the the electric field at a point P due to the three charges. This is the E. The four draw the force diagram. The force due to uh, draw the uh, field diagram. The electric field due to minus five micro coulomb charge to pi point P is this is the minus five micro coulomb charge. The electric field direction along the toward the charge. This is the this direction. The electric field due to minus five micro coulomb charge. At a point P is this direction because the charge is the negative, so the field always towards the charge. This is the E three and minus five micro coulomb charge two at a point P. The electric field direction is this is the. This direction. This is the E one. This direction because the direction of the electric field always towards the negative charge. So the charge is negative. So the direction, this direction, and the electric field due to the minus two micro coulomb charge at a point P is this direction leftward. This is the E two. This direction because. The charge is the negative, so the electric field always towards the negative charge. This direction, this is the direction of the field. So we can calculate the electric field at a point P. 
we can calculate it the electric field at a point P E P is equal to E P is equal to E one plus E two plus E three. This is the field. E P is equal to the electric field E P is equal to the direction of the field E one. E one is equal to E one is the electric field due to the minus minus five micro coulomb charge. This is the this direction. So the electric field E is equal to K Q one by R one square into Minus cos theta one i bar plus sin theta one j bar. This is the electric field due to the charge Q one. The field direction towards the charge. So the the direction of the field this direction. So the electric field is the K Q one by R one square minus cos theta. So the direction towards it. So the x component is the negative and the y component is the positive. And the electric field due to the charge Q two. This is the charge Q two. So the field direction towards the negative or negative x axis. So taken the negative minus K. Q two by R two square along the negative x axis, so the direction is the I bar, and the electric field due to the charge Q three at a point P is the the direction towards the charge, so this direction, so the x component is the negative and the y component is the negative, the x component is the negative. And the y component is the negative, so because the direction towards the charge, so minus k q three by r three square into cos theta i bar plus sin theta j bar, because both components are negative, so take in the negative sign. This is the electric field at a point. P due to the three charges. Let us the distance between the R one is equal to R three is equal to R, and the angle between the theta one is equal to theta three is equal to theta. We know that the the distance between the R one is equal to R three is equal to R, and theta one is equal to theta three is equal to theta, and the charges. Q1 is equal to Q3 is equal to Q. Both are the Q1. Q1 is the minus 5 micro coulomb charge and Q3 is the minus 5 micro coulomb charge. So Q1 is equal to Q3 is equal to Q. We substituting the the values. The electric field at a point P is equal to K Q1. Q1 means Q K Q by R square into cos theta one means Minus cos theta i bar plus sine theta j bar minus k q two by r two square r two square minus d square d square along the i component and minus minus K Q by R square R Q R three means R square into cos theta i bar plus sin theta j bar. So from this equation, the in this equation K Q R square minus cos theta i bar. 
minus k q r square cos theta i bar and k q r square sin theta j bar minus k q r square sin theta j bar both are the same so cancel to it so the electric field at a point p e p is equal to the y component of the electric field both are the one is the positive and another one is the negative so both are the same so cancel to it remaining the electric field the x components both are the negative so these two are added to it so minus k q by r square cos theta minus k q by r square cos theta both are the same so minus 2 k q by r square into cos theta i bar and the y components are both are the same and the directions opposite to it so both are the cancelled and minus k q2 by d square i bar this is the final equation of the electric field at a point p so substituting the values in this equation the electric field at a point p ep is equal to minus 2 into the value of the k is the 9 into 10 to the power of 9 newton meter square by coulomb square into q the charge of the q is the 5 micro coulomb 5 micro coulomb 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb into cos theta cos the value of the theta is the 53.1 degrees whole by the value of the r r is the 10 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter whole square this is the i component and minus the value of the k q 2 by d square so the value of the k is the 9 into 10 to the power of 9 newton meter square by coulomb square into the charge q2 is the 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb whole by the value of the d d is the 6 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters whole square along the i component along the i so the magnetic field at a point p e p is equal to the magnetic field at a point p e p is equal to minus 1.04 into 10 to the power of 7 newton per coulomb this is the the electric the electric field at a point E P at a point P. So E P is equal to minus 1.04 into 10 to the power of 7 Newton per Coulomb. So the magnitude is the the magnitude of the electric field E P is equal to 1.04 into 10 to the power of 7 Newton per Coulomb this is the magnitude of the electric field and the direction is the the direction of the field is the value is the negative so the direction of the electric field towards the minus 2 micro coulomb charge towards the towards the minus 2 micro coulomb charge are left are left to the point p are left to the point p this is the direction of the electric field